Paddy, first of all, Sarajevo games. Um, the first leg, nil-nil away from home. It was still in its infancy in many ways, I suppose, the European Cup. What was it like going to Eastern Europe? It was, diff it, was, it was difficult in those days. The big problem was getting there because I remember going to Sarajevo. We flew to Vienna and I think we had a five-hour bus journey or something like that to get to Sarajevo. The people were terrific. It was great to be there. You've never, you've never been there in my life. I was somewhere different that, that you could go to. They were a good side. They were a tough side. We were fortunate the fact that they got a man sent off. We finished up with a no-score draw, draw and done exceptionally well to get a no-score draw. You were talking about when they come back to Old Trafford. Well, not nil-nil draw not, is not not a bad result, but I suppose it's difficult when you go somewhere. You, you've never really seen them play. You don't know what it was. No, you don't know a great deal about them. And, and you, you always thought with referees in those days, particularly referees in the continent of Europe, their ideas in the game were a bit different from referees in England. Their ideas of fouls were different from our sort of fouls. But we knew nothing about them. We didn't realise what a good team they were. That's one of the big surprises you get in Europe when you play against teams from... from other parts of Europe, but they were a tough side. Oh, they were a tough side. And it was tight there and tight at Old Trafford. Yes. Two one win in the end. I um, think if we hadn't get the if they hadn't got the man sent off in Sarajevo, it might have been different. They might have have sneaked a, a result out of it. And I can't remember in those days. Did the away goals count double? I don't think they did, or did they? You were I'm playing. I'm asking you. You were playing. I can't really remember, actually. But we came back to Old Trafford. We beat them 2-1, but it was a tough game here at Old Trafford as well. We, we had a tough, tough battle against them. They were, we got all the way to the final. And I would think probably of all the games we played, that was the two toughest games we had. Aston and Best. Yeah, scored the goals, yeah. The goal scorers. But they were... They were a very, very good side in actual fact. Very good. But as I say, Stuart, you enter, you, you don't know who you're going to play. You, you know nothing about the teams that you're going to play against because it's not like today you've got television that covers every match, every team. You know everything about every team, who's the best players, who's not the best players. You're going into a completely void of anything you are. You're actually void. Because to go and travel to watch Sarajevo play in those days, it's not like just hopping on a place and two hours later you're there. You'd probably maybe have to go to London and go to France and, and then on from there. It was, it was horrendous, the journeys to get to a certain place. And uh, were there any uh, physical challenges? Ah, it was a very physical game, of course, as you expected that. Why are you laughing? Oh, it was just, you know, a story <laughs> or two about the <laughs> aftermath of the game. Oh, there was a little bit of trouble in the tunnel after the game, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. The great thing about it in those days, there was no, t t there was no TV cameras in tunnels in those days. If there would have, if there would have been, you might have missed the next round. Is the fair <laughs> saying? I might have missed the next season. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to Sarajevo on your seventieth birthday. I remember the game very well when we played here at Old Trafford in nineteen sixty-seven. <laughs> Very, very tough game. It was a very tough game over there in Sarajevo. And it was an even tougher game. And you were one of the best sides we played in Europe in all the period of times that we actually played in Europe. You were terrific. 